Namaste, my uh, beautiful queens. Today, um, I want to ask the cards such a question. This is, of course, for uh, those of you who are not physically together with this man. And you see, a lot of time when we are not together with this uh, person, we think, we, we even are absolutely sure, we can be like one million percent sure, that only if you were living with him in one house with your little fireplace and, uh, um, you know, nice music playing, you're having dinner together or, or a couple of children, only if all these obstacles just, just came down, if only, if only, if only you were together with him, things would be wonderful and great and awesome and uh, fantastic. Let us ask the cards what would be life like with him if you really were living with him as a husband and wife. Even if you meet a couple times a week, even if you're dating or you're not together at all, let us ask the cards. Let us take the classical deck. Let us take Arcanum deck. Let us take the uh, shadow deck. And choose one deck and ask, would you be happy with this man if you were with him, living together with him as a husband and wife? You can even ask if this man is from the past. For example, you were a high school sweetheart and you simply broke up because of something and... Uh, 20 years later, you're thinking, um, if I stayed with that guy, if I married that man, uh, everything would have been different, everything would have been wonderful. So you can ask about a one in the past or in the present. So let's see, whoever this man is, would you be happy if you were his wife, if you lived together? We will start with deck number one. Deck number two, deck number three. You can choose one for each of your men if you have several uh, questions about several men. Asking the spirits of fire, spirits of earth, air and water, the guides, the keepers, the divines, the guardians, to give us the answers to our questions, to my forehead, to my mouth, to my heart and girls. Uh, whatever cards show, I will show you. So let's imagine you are living with him how would your life would uh, how would your life be with him i will get two cards oh <laughs> like here are all your answers how would your life be with this man a hermit and constant desire to run away somewhere somewhere away far away can you imagine, so you, you, uh, whoever you are, uh, whoever you are asking this question about, you would be so lonely with this man, feeling so alone, but it would be very spiritual. It wouldn't be happy life, but it would be, would have been, we can say so, would have been very spiritual because... You would have no other chances but to look deep inside. But constantly wanting to run, to just get, cover yourself, get on this boat and run, run, run away. This is how your life would be in love and relationship. Hermit is sad, lonely depressed, someone who needs a, a psychotherapy all the time, someone who only must look inside for support because he doesn't receive it from outside. Because um, especially, uh, like, it, it would make you a monk. 
So sexually, this man wouldn't be too much uh, into a being a, a beautiful, passionate lover. You would have to, you would be living as just, uh, not as a husband and wife, but this is loneliness. This is uh, being completely locked on, onto yourself, but by some reason, there would be an issue of you leaving this very, very uh, unhappy marriage. You would be very lonely, very lonely, very alone. But uh, if you were with him, the things of you running away from this marriage would have been very, very, very difficult. You would probably sooner or later run away because this is a running card. But you, you would, it would happen much later. Because also... The Six of Swords talk about danger because the person who you thinking you would have been very happy, that wouldn't be a person who would, he would probably consider you as some, someone belonging to him. There are some uh, men who consider their wife is their property, like furniture. She has no rights. She must listen and she must obey. So if you were with him, you would be very lonely, very alone, completely locked onto yourself. Also, this is being with someone egocentric. And there is one very serious thing here. Uh, you would... It's a person who... Uh, Wear certain uh, masks, uh, one mask or two masks. Let's let add a couple more cards. Yes, yes, absolutely. You see, there is a, a card of resource, card of ten of pentacles. So the way he presents himself to, to, the, world, to the world and to people is that um, he... Uh, he is such a catch. He is such a lucky charm. He is so fantastic, especially if we are having, a, there is a Leo, if we're having a Leo, but this would be like a Leo upside down uh, with all these cards together. So he looks so charming, so sensual, looks like if you become his wife, it's a fairy tale and probably it's a person with the money. So here is the reason why you would not be able to get away. Because if you were married, he would have to share his money with you as his wife. This is number one. But second, if a wife divorces him... In the eyes of society, he would look less. He would look like a man who can't, you know, hold his wife in a proper condition. So, of course, it would be the, uh, this would be the reason why the hermit. You, you don't have chance to escape, but you start getting, you know, so you don't lose your mind and you don't become completely crazy because he would force you faking it. He would force you when they are uh, when you two would be around family members and around um, like relatives or friends. You would have to fake that you are dying of joy and happiness, that you are so happy, that you are so you know everything is so good. You name it. When in fact, in fact, you would have to hold on onto yourself and to your inner core not to simply go crazy or or start drinking or, or taking um you know some serious antidepressants it would it would be very dark so this is beautiful 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 example of how we might think it would have been wonderful and when your guides, your keepers are keeping you away from this man, so you don't end up like this. 
something uh, we, re we really, really want, it's being kept from us so we don't get in serious trouble. So this is the deck number one. We are going to take our cotton. Would you be happy with this man if you were living together with him? Oh my goodness gracious, reverse five of like five of swords already bad. Oh you know like oh, girls what is wrong with us like we we really we look is it is it like this story of everyone we we just want the snake why there is this expression good guys finish last because somehow those who are gonna trigger our wound and make us suffer they they attract us and we somehow think that things would be absolutely wonderful if only we were together with them. But the, 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 look at the cards. The um, Five of Swords, so you would understand. I'll show it to you in upright position. I'm sure you've seen this card many times already. You see the battlefield. And this man is victorious. He killed his opponents with no mercy and he holds the swords of someone who uh who kill who he killed it's it's already horrible card in upright position it's not fair play this is the war it's not just a, a manipulator narcissist this is a psychopath. Please be careful if you know how to read tarot. In reverse position, this is dangerous for, for the life. This is already not just a narcissist or manipulator narcissist. This is a psychopath. The cold heart, cold blooded. So this is a card of horrible depression, of horrible misfortune. Of being on a battlefield when you are guilty of everything. You would walk on eggshells. And you, because you, you would be humiliated, you would be physically abused. You would be emotionally and psychologically abused. He would dominate over you. Your your try i've i've seen girls so just to give you an example of exactly these two cards i've seen this a woman a wife they're married i already told this story before she puts a cup she drinks tea and she puts a cup not inside of the sink but he she puts it next to it her husband breaks her arm because she, I am not even joking, she put the cup inside, not inside of the thing, but next. Because when this beast, they don't have empathy, this is like a serial killer mentality. You would suffer, you, you would suffer, he would, uh, he would enjoy it like a vampire. It's depression. It's, it's, it's even the loss of a life. You would probably escape because um, there is a chariot. But at the same time, this also shows that he would have multiple affairs in order to hurt you more. Because hurting you would be uh another methods uh, of him having pleasure it, it's it's a sadistic type and of course as a, a psychopath it's someone who uh, of course <laughs> never shows his true face they usually extremely psychopath sociopath they are usually extremely smart extremely charming extremely sensual Let, let's add a couple more cards can you believe it and you think that if i just got out two of cups 
and four of wands, I would tell you you would be happy dappy. Look how cards show that your keepers, your guardians, call them guarding angels, is just protecting you from that hell. They don't allow that hell to happen. Look at this. Look at, look at this. So, you are a lover. One of the version of your story. You thought you're a lover because upside down, uh, again, not for all of you, obviously, but obviously this man, when he met you, he either was married or he had someone and usually they have a lot of uh, women. So reversed, but some of you were, were, some of you were a third party, some of you are a third party. And you believe and you dream that only if you were married, only if you were together, then things would be wonderful and great. When this is what you would have, all that. What kind of love would stay after he takes off his masks and starts torturing you? Of course. You, as a secret woman, because we are looking at if he was with you, as a secret woman, you would stop being secret. And looks like he decides that either his wife or the woman he had before you or while he has you, he has her, is not resource, resourceful anymore. He squeezed everything out of her. She's almost dead already. And... Um, you imagine that you, you become not a secret. He marries you or starts living with you. Horrible cards. High priest is in reverse position. Absolute lack of any sensitivity and compassion. But it also shows you being in complete fog. Not being able to see how this beast really is. But I have to tell you that I've studied narcissists and psychopaths in the last two years, that they are capable of, of wearing masks in such way that nobody will never guess, but unless it gives you the sensation of danger, there is danger, there's something is amiss, but high priest is in reverse position, does not want to see how things are. It's worst word, card that... You think it's love, but it's no love. It's in reversed position. So definitely you, with this man, went, went against your own core, your, your intuition, your own self. Probably people are telling you he's no good. This is, of course, another version of adrenaline and dorphin codependency. It's you not wanting to see how things really are, but then higher force is keeping you from this man. Because our questions are, if you are not with this man, you think that you would be happy with this man. Would you really be happy with this man? Horrible cards. Absolutely horrible cards. So, aren't you glad you are not? Because you might have not even be able to survive if you were together with this man. Be careful, cards are horrible. This probably would, uh, you would ex escape if you... <sighs> Such bad cards, my goodness. And, number three. Their shadow deck. The shadow deck, the third deck. Would you be happy if you were together, living together as a husband and wife with this man? Our cards are like this, girls. I am reading you cards. And many of you who watch my videos, you do know cards. My goodness gracious, girls, who you want to be together with, my gosh. 
another horror, another illusion. So this is obviously, of course, a king. This is already clearly showing us a certain king, king of pentacles. Uh, Zodiac-wise, we would have the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Definitely man with position, definitely man with money, who looks like absolutely the best man who you could dream of. There is a little problem next to the skin is the nine of swords. A woman blocked by nine swords, powerless on her knees, seeing a ship begging, begging those on the ship to come and rescue her. But what, what is happening is not real. This ship is a mirage. But she's so exhausted and tortured that she hopes she sees it as real. Because this, if you married him, would turn out to be a completely different story. A man who completely lost control over himself. A man with problems with alcohol or any other addictions. Probably alcohol and some drugs or some something. A man with serious emotional and mental problem, probably depressed. A man who you must never trust for your own good. Usually, this man could have received a, a trauma in childhood or in the past. And you might have this illusion that you, if you were with him, you would save him. You would change him. You would make him happy. And unfortunately, you dealing with a dangerous man. Heartless. Manipulative. Businessman who does not honest business. And uses lies and corruption when he wants to achieve his goals. Greedy narrow-minded but people don't see it people see the king of pentacles and what would you have with him you already see you're looking at the sea hoping that someone would come and save you from the hell you got yourself into. Girls, these are the cards. These are the cards. I am telling you the cards. You see it yourself. Look closely. She can't even escape. She can't get out. Save me. But it's not real. It's not going to save her. This is, girls, please, this is serious problem here. This is passion, again, another, again, another time I'm repeating, adrenaline, endorphin, codependency, psycho, emotional, neurotic dependency. I will explain Simply, you see an alcoholic dying, but keep on drinking whiskey. 
and you try to take whiskey away from him to save his life, but an alcoholic screams to you, leave me alone, I love whiskey, this is my love, you don't understand my love, this whiskey has a spirit, I love whiskey, this is what neuro neurotic dependency, adrenaline endorphin dependency, it's this woman dying because she's in toxic relationship, but she's screaming, no, I love him, you don't understand, this is love, when in fact, this is illness like an alcoholic with whiskey, like a drug addict who has risk to die of overdose every second, but he keeps on sticking these things into his veins, into his body. This is what it is. This is heartless passion. This is such a, you call it love, but it completely clouded your mind, and you think, if only I was with him, if only I was with him, if only, and the cards show you what if you were with him, what it would be, you would cry every night, because he would hurt you and hurt you, obsession, this is a card of obsession, she sees a mirage, and she's raising her hand, screaming, save me, but it's a mirage, it's not there, you creating an idol out of this man. An idol. You think you, you will die without him. That he's your spiritual connection of something. When it's all just... He would kick you with his legs. Probably not even metaphorically saying. Like the dog. And you would crawl to his, uh, to his hands kissing his hands even after he kicks you and he would cheat and he would treat you as dirt and usually also what happens to this man when this card is near they become incapable of doing their merit you know of having sex and then they would blame you for that like really girls what is wrong why, why we want, why we deny our intuition? Please watch the video, what is adrenaline, endorphin, dependency. If you don't know, look at this. You see this? You see this? What else do you need to see? Look at this. Seven of Swords. A manipulator, a liar, pathological manipulator, liar, cheat, alcoholic. What other cards do you need to even... Like, you should, if you're not with this man, please just go, go outside at, at night. Just raise your head. Ra like, you would serve him. You would be a carpet at his feet. He would wipe his feet all over you with no, no even morsel of mercy or empathy or, or kindness. Look at this as his lost soul. L look at this. Completely lost soul. Horrible cards. The worst cards, probably. If you avoided being with this man please come outside raise your beautiful face to the stars and say guides keepers divine forces council of elders everyone thank you from thank you for keeping me away from this man thank you from letting me to do to become this thank you very much because this what your life was him would have been please be careful if this man is in the past you know if you had him in the past and you you were just watching this reading wondering you know what would have been if i told him yes then you can you know you can say Oh, I'm so glad, you know, it's, it never happened and I avoided this. But if, if this man is in prison, then girls, please be careful, okay? Such cards.
You can, you know, you can love me, you can hate me. I read the cards. Be alerted. Listen to your intuition. And remember very simple truth. People are not words. People are actions. Wishing you all the best. Namaste.